Our next caller is Zachary from Boston. Hey, what's up, Zach? How can we help you? Hey, how's it going, guys? Thanks for having me. Um, was just curious. So every four days or so, uh, I work in a hospital and we'll work 28 hour shifts pretty regularly. Um, so been trying to bulk for the last uh, few months here, but the lack of sleep and kind of rotating schedule has been an issue. And was curious if you'd had clients with this similar sort of issue or any sort of advice uh, to kind of address this. Yeah. Okay. So really good question. So because of the every four day, 28 hour schedule, you're, you put yourself in a bad position in the sense that you, your, your body is not going to be able to handle normal workouts or workout loads or, or stress because you're already putting quite a bit of stress on your body. No matter, even if everything's perfect, that alone is a very challenging thing for the body. So you have to work out very little in order to build muscle. So that's the good news. The appropriate dose is going to get your body to adapt. The appropriate dose for you is a lot less than it would be if you did not work this kind of a schedule. So when people that I've worked with in this particular case, when I've trained people like this, you're looking at a couple days a week of resistance training, like two days a week, and you're doing full body routine. You're going moderate intensity. You're focusing on building strength. And then as far as the bulk is concerned, of course, that's just a matter of a caloric surplus. Make sure you hit your protein, eat about 500 calories or so above maintenance, and you should be okay. If you're getting stronger, then you know you're on the right track. Yeah, I, I was going to recommend MAPS Anabolic two to three times, and the two to three times would would depend on the, the way this is broken up. So it, it's not once a week you have this 28-hour shift. It's literally every fourth day you have 24, 28 hours. So within an eight-day period, you could actually have two of these days being 28-hour days, which would be over a day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so you're right. Probably one to two days a week. One to straight, two days a week mm-hmm. max is yeah, what I would do. Training. You know, and I would may, maybe even you. You might even especially be able, trying to bulk too. That's the other thing. Yeah, you might even want to do it this way. Um, so that so you go 28 hours, then you're off for four days. So what you may want to do is after your 28 hour shift, don't work out the day after. Work out the second day. And that's your one workout. And then wait till the next cycle happens again. Start with that. Mm -hmm. Go to the gym, do a full body workout, one exercise per body part, about three sets. Focus on compound lifts, not lots of volume, not lots of intensity. And then see if you can get stronger. I mean, you know, you could add some restorative, like I was just mobility good, good or like trigger session, like in the in between days where it's just, you know, it's really low to moderate uh, type of uh, muscle contraction or, you know, activity wise. Uh, but that would help to, you know, at least get your body to to recuperate and restore. And, and you know, with that amount of stress, you know, and, and already being absorbed in your bucket from having this type of a schedule, you just got to be mindful that it's all got to stay at a low intensity. You know what we could, what we could do is we could go a MAPS anabolic foundational day one day on the day that Sal said. So the second day after after worship, but the day before and the day after could both be trigger sessions. Yeah, yeah. So you could do a. So I would take the MAPS anabolic. I would use the one of the main foundational days. That's your workout routine, and then I would take the trigger session workouts. That would be the day before and then the day after. That's how I sure, would. Sure, that that's, could work. That's what it looked, and that that way you're getting three days of kind of touching, and you only got one really hard, high intense day. The other two days are more like recovery focused, mm-hmm. but then also kind of just touching the muscles. That's what I would do right now. There. How's your nutrition with all this? Are you able to uh, intake a lot of whole foods or is this a struggle? Yeah, I mean, try to, but it's tough because the, uh, I mean, obviously when you're up for 28 hours, kind of just meal timing is difficult. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, try to do as much as you can with the whole foods. Um, but honestly, less is more here. Don't, don't, push your body to see how much you can do, but rather see how much you can get away with, with as little as you can do because the, your, the, the sleep, and I'm sure you're familiar with this. You work in medicine. So I'm sure you've seen the statistics on swing shifts and this kind of schedule on the human body. It's a tremendous stress. Exercise is another stress. So you have to consider that. So it's like when, you know, when my son was the first six months of his life, uh, I'm not, you know, training like an animal in the gym. My body can't handle it, and I'm just not going to. My body's just not going to respond. So, take it that way. Now, if you do this with Maps Anabolic, what you literally do is you're not looking at a seven day cycle like most workouts, right? Because it'll give you the option of two workouts or three workouts, foundational every week. Literally, just do one foundational workout when it, when you do that second day after your shift is up, 
And then the next foundational workout is the next time it's up. And don't worry about a, you know, a monthly or weekly schedule, the way it's broken up. Yours is obviously very different. So just do it, do it like that. And then I'd love to get some feedback uh, from you to see how your body, you know, feels and responds. Yeah, sounds good. Appreciate that. No problem, Zach. Thanks for calling in. He's a Lego maniac. He just ca- he just came off of one of the shifts. It sounds like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, dude. Uh, one of the hardest to help, bro. Right there. If you yeah. read the statistics on shifts like this, the, the it's can- like a carcinogenic. It, their cancer risk is yeah. it goes up. Like if they smoke cigarettes, their heart disease risk goes up. Their diabetes. I mean, it's it's a it's a huge and so. This the lesson of this the stress is, that your trainer adds by telling you all those things. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to move you out of that schedule. Like, yeah, it's already like, stressed well, out. You know what? No fucking cell said job. that. Now I'm really you know what's stressed funny? out. <laughs> I've tra- so I've trained a lot of people like this, and you know what's funny? They tend to have this is they're attracted to this kind of work, right? Yeah. So I've trained ER doctors that are just insane, and I literally have to say this to them because their mentality is go 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 no matter what. Oh, yeah, I should yeah. do push it. through. Yes, yeah. and I'm like, no, you can't. You're gonna hurt yourself. It's this is totally bad for you. And because they're in medicine, sometimes statistics tend to help. So that's why I do a little bit of the fear, uh, you know, type of stuff with them. But I mean, you can you can progress. You just got to remember it's another stress you're adding to your body, and you're probably almost at your limit. So it's not much that you can you can. I mean, I love the idea of a, a one hard training session in the middle, like you yeah. said, timing that right. So whatever the breakdown is, the middle day after you've got a nice recover day mm-hmm. of recovery rest from that long shift. And then on the other days, uh, and they could be all the days because it's so light. You could do these light band works, band work or suspension trainer, one or the other or both I'd have access to. And then I would be like, okay, I'm in the, the, the way I train is I get after it really hard this one day. And that's my full hour, an hour and a half routine where I do the full body. And then the other two to three days, it's this real light kind of band mm-hmm. work or body weight work. And that's all I would try and do. But I mean, you can make some moves on that for sure. Definitely. 